It was the largest seaborne invasion in history, the beginning of a long campaign that would free Western Europe from German occupation. Den Brotheridge from Smithwick in the West Midlands was the first Allied serviceman to lose his life on D-Day. His only child, him. Margaret, was born two weeks okay. after he died. I've only ever seen photos and pictures and it's a bit overwhelming. This sculpture has been made to mark the 75th anniversary. The soldier's face is that of Den. The 4,413 bullets he kneels on represent each of the Allied servicemen who also lost their lives that day. In his younger years, Den had played for Aston Villa as a Villa cult, so it seemed fitting that as the sculpture tours Britain this week, Den would be brought back to Villa Park. I'm so pleased that every bullet represents someone who was killed on D-Day, because when I go to France, and I lay a wreath, my father is known. And I think about what about the second, what about anybody who was killed? The young artist behind the work says the finished piece has surpassed even his own expectations. When you create a sculpture, even when it's halfway or three quarters away, it still doesn't look anything like you want it. So you always think, oh no, uh, is this gonna look right? And, and it all comes together at the end. And the reaction of everyone that's come to see it has been really positive. I've had a lot of old soldiers as well come and um, no, it's been really good. He's given it a modern twist and I think that's what's going to resonate with people that don't necessarily know about D-Day and younger people. For much of her life a handful of old photographs were all that Margaret had to remember her father by. Perhaps the most poignant of these, the one of her mother he'd been carrying in his breast pocket when he was shot in the chest and died. Now through this sculpture she hopes that the lives, bravery and sacrifice of all the Allied soldiers who died on D-Day will be remembered. Jessica Savage, 5 News.